Hello and welcome to this video where we will explore the diabetes antioxidant connection. Can antioxidants really make a difference for people with diabetes? Let's find out. Diabetes is a chronic condition that affects millions of people around the world. It occurs when the body cannot produce enough insulin or use it properly, leading to high blood sugar levels. Over time, this can cause serious complications such as heart disease, kidney failure, nerve damage, and vision loss. One of the factors that contributes to diabetes and its complications is oxidative stress. This is a state of imbalance between free radicals and antioxidants in the body. Free radicals are unstable molecules that can damage cells and tissues, while antioxidants are substances that can neutralize them and protect the body from harm. Oxidative stress can increase inflammation, impair insulin sensitivity, and worsen blood sugar control. It can also damage the blood vessels, nerves, eyes, and other organs that are affected by diabetes. Therefore, reducing oxidative stress is important for preventing and managing diabetes. This is where antioxidants come in. Antioxidants are found in many foods, especially fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, spices, and herbs. They can also be taken as supplements or medications. Some examples of antioxidants are vitamin C, vitamin E, beta carotene, lycopene, flavonoids, polyphenols, and glutathione. Antioxidants can help people with diabetes in several ways. They can improve insulin sensitivity and glucose uptake by the cells, and also lower blood sugar levels and prevent spikes after meals, reduce inflammation and oxidative stress markers in the blood, protect the blood vessels from damage and improve blood flow prevent or delay the onset of diabetic complications such as neuropathy, retinopathy, nephropathy, and cardiovascular disease. However, not all antioxidants are created equal. Some may have more benefits than others, depending on the type, dose, source, and individual factors. For example, vitamin C may be more effective than vitamin E in lowering blood sugar levels and improving insulin function. Lycopene may be more beneficial than beta carotene in preventing diabetic nephropathy. And also, flavonoids from cocoa may have more potent effects than those from tea or red wine in improving endothelial function and blood pressure. Polyphenols from green tea may have more advantages than those from black tea in reducing oxidative stress and inflammation. Glutathione may be more helpful than other antioxidants in preventing diabetic cataract formation. Therefore, it is important to consult your doctor before taking any antioxidant supplements or medications. You should also follow a balanced diet that includes a variety of antioxidant-rich foods from different sources. This way, you can get the most benefits from antioxidants and avoid any potential side effects or interactions. To sum up, antioxidants can play a significant role in management of diabetes and its complications. They can help reduce oxidative stress, improve blood sugar control, protect the organs from damage, and enhance overall health. However, they are not a magic bullet that can cure diabetes or replace other treatments. You still need to follow your doctor's advice on medication, exercise, and lifestyle changes. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new and useful about diabetes antioxidant connection. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one. See you next time.